is sad and civil and suits well to a servant with my fortunes. He's coming, madam, and in a very strange manner. He is sure possessed, madam. Why, what's the matter? Does he rave? No, madam. He does nothing but smile. For sure the man is painted in his wits. Go call him hither. I am as mad as he, if sad and merry madness equal be. <laughs> Sweet lady. Ho <laughs> ho. Smile, Sal. I sent for thee upon a sad occasion. Oh, sad lady. Oh, I could be sad. This does cause some obstruction to the legs, this cross gartering, but uh, what of that? <laughs> Why have you done so mad? It is the matter with thee. Not black in my mind, though yellow in my legs. Mm, I think we do know the sweet Roman hand. Wilt thou go to bed, Malvolio? To bed. <laughs> Aye, sweetheart, and I'll come to thee. Not come to thee. Why dost thou smile so? Be not afraid of greatness. T'was well writ. What means you by that, Malvolio? Some are born great. Huh? <laughs> some achieve greatness. What sayest thou? And some have greatness thrust upon oh! them. <laughs> Remember who commended thy yellow stockings and wished to see thee ever cross gartered? Go to! Thou art made if thou desirest to be so. Am I made? Why, this is very midsummer madness! <laughs> oh. oh, I have lined her. But this Job's doing it. Job, make me thankful. Oh, this is all the dears together. They know. Dram of a scruple, no scruple of a scruple, no, no obstacle, no incredulous or unsafe circumstance. What could be said? Nothing that can be can come between me and the full prospect of my hopes. 